Good afternoon, everyone. So uh, welcome to this uh, welcome session uh, for the Wadwani Ignite Academic Program. Uh, my name is Charles Bolton. I'm the regional leader for the Wadwani Foundation in Africa. And I have with me my colleague, uh, Kolela Sauma. He's our senior program manager. And uh, him and myself will be your, uh, your, 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 your uh, how can we say, we'll be your coaches throughout this this, this very uh, uh, important pilot program for us. Um, the Wadwani Foundation might be known to some of you. Uh, I know there are people here that are faculty from institutions that uh, we have partnerships with. But uh, a brief introduction on the foundation. We are a global nonprofit organization. We are head office in uh, the USA, but our regional head office is in India. Africa falls under the India region. and. Uh, we have been promoting, developing, and uh, offering entrepreneurship programs as well as other skill programs to university and college partners throughout the world since 2000. Uh, as you mentioned, we're a global nonprofit, so uh, we partner with institutions like yourselves. We don't uh, do much of the work. We, we like to inskill our partners and support our partners as well as our students to be able to uh, succeed. The purpose of this pilot program is uh, it's actually been uh, a, a program in the making for more than two years. We came into Africa in 2018. Since then, we've established 33 partner universities in Africa. And I believe I checked the numbers this morning. We have trained in excess of around about 8,000 students on entrepreneurship in Africa today. However, the Ignite program is something different. The Ignite program as a result of COVID. We, we, we developed the program when COVID struck the world to support uh, startup entrepreneurs who at that stage or at that time was left high and dry. And uh, since then we've been developing and fine tuning the program and its content more and more to the point where we can also offer this program to uh, academic students, senior academic students uh, who are all serious about entrepreneurship. We've got other programs that uh, we currently offer. The foundational program is more for the introduction to its entrepreneurship. However, uh, the Ignite is a very uh, focused program that is focused at students who would like to or think they in future might want to start a startup, launch an adventure based on their field of study or anything or an idea that they might come across in life or even something that they already got in mind. But it's a very practical program uh, and uh, it's not an academic study program. It's a program that's got a theoretical part and we've got classes, but it's very much a hands-on self-learning program as well. So the program is delivered online and remotely by us for this pilot program. Uh, we have got uh, academics and faculty members in this cohort that uh, will complete the program as students and those of them who are keen to deliver the program in-house at their uh, relevant or you know institutions or universities where they are based they will then go through a training program or we call an FTP program later on after completing this that uh, will enable them and license them to also facilitate this program on campus so yeah this is a online pilot. Um, it will be facilitated by one of our global facilitators, Mr. Vishal Nair. He's an entrepreneur and a consultant. He delivers the program for us and he works with students and universities and entrepreneurs and uh, various consultancies around the world. So we've got a highly respected and very experienced facilitator that will take on the class component of this program. Those are about to start from next week, Monday, 4 p.m. It will be classes for 12 consecutive weeks. However, with me, I've got uh, Kholela, and I want him to introduce himself. He heads up our uh, support component. Uh, over to you, Kholela. Uh, good afternoon, everyone. Such a delight for me to see such a great turnout in our opening session. And I look forward to working with you as you develop your, your business and, uh, and all the best. Thanks, Charles. Thanks, Kulela. 
So guys, yeah, this session is just a brief introduction. What I'm gonna do is um, I'm gonna quickly just for the purpose, and I know there's a lot of you who are still in the process of enrollment, and now we need to finalize that during the course of this week. We need to have everybody on board before the first class session on Monday evening. The reason being is our platform that you are enrolling on to, that platform will also serve as our uh, content platform where all the course content will be. It will be where all, well, some of the communication will happen. There will be a calendar. So what I'm gonna do now quickly is just take you through a practical enrollment, um, how to get enrolled onto the platform. So if you are here, you have received an email from me inviting you to join the program. In that email, I made it very, very clear that we require your utmost commitment to this program. It is a, it is a pilot. Henceforth, it will be measured on its success after completion. Uh, important to note, we will not be holding a class register, but what will happen is at each of the milestones, your sub work submission that needs to take place will be recorded and will be shared with your respective universities and institutions. So at each milestone, and I'll get into that content later on, that's where we will measure your understanding of the concepts. Uh, you will reflect that in the work that you will complete and submit onto the platform. It will be an upload process where you complete slides in a presentation format that will be then uploaded onto the Wadwani platform. And that will take place at each of the milestones. There will be four milestones during the course of the program. And uh, if you are on the platform, you'll notice that at this stage, there are no calendar dates yet. The calendar dates for the classes will be there and it should reflect by tomorrow or like this Friday, it will be up. And then you'll be able to see when each class will take place and the Zoom link to that class will be there. The classes will always be on Mondays and it will always be at 4 p.m. We do not fluctuate the classes. We don't change that schedule. It's rigid in that regard. The other component of the program is the, the support and the uh, open hour or open office hours as we call it. Now, Colella hosts that three times a week. There will be three schedule, or three slots during the week uh, at different times that'll allow you to log in. And, and, this, and it's not compulsory. It's only if, if you need assistance or guidance for better understanding or the application on the, of your work during the course of that week. You can log into any one of those open hour sessions uh, that will be there available for you to join and ask your question. However, we also, we've got the uh, respect of each institution has got their own WhatsApp group. And the WhatsApp groups, please, if I can make that request clear and upfront now at this stage is not for add idle conversation, please, the WhatsApp groups are there for us to share important updates and important notifications with you. Uh, if you do have any questions or anything that you would like to ask, please make sure that uh, we don't have too many chats there. We don't want to, uh, you know, get people to become bored or frustrated with those WhatsApp sessions. We try and keep the conversation to minimum and purely focused on the program. It needs to be of relevance to everybody there. If you need to ask a question, please send us an email or even send us a WhatsApp directly, but rather than having too many chats in those WhatsApp groups, which can become very frustrating. I know I am in more than, I think, 50 WhatsApp groups, and you know, it really does become a, a stretch. Somebody's asking how to join the WhatsApp group. You will find the link to your respective WhatsApp groups in the email invitation that I sent out to you. There are different WhatsApp groups for each institution partner. So uh, uh, I can't share any one of those here, but it's in the WhatsApp, uh, in the email that you received that I sent out to, uh, to invite you to join. So uh, just keep an eye out, look at, look in that, in that mail, you'll find a link to your, to your WhatsApp group. Now, having received that email, you would have uh, noticed that there are steps to enroll. Uh, and the first step for you to enroll is to make sure that you've got the, there's a link there that uh, takes you straight to the platform. Uh, I'm gonna quickly just share my screen again. Yeah, go. That link will take you to a page, a web page that looks like this. 
to start enrollment now, I'm going to try and start a full enrollment, take you through the process first hand. And I'm going to use uh, our Oh, sorry, you see, I can't do that. I need to sign up first. So you'll get to a sign up page. It will request you to put in an email address. Uh, I believe this one is already enrolled. Let's see if we can create. Okay, add new password. Just going to quickly create the password. Uh, you would have received a verification email after you've completed that process. Just check in your inbox. Sometimes that verification email lands up in a junk mail or a spam folder. Um, just make sure you search for the what one any in program in your inbox and you, and you will quickly find uh, the email from the platform that would have been sent out to you. Uh, let's see, here we go. It verifies that I've been signed. My sign up is there. So I can now. Continue by putting the email back in again. My password that I created. Please make sure you note down that password. It's important to remember. You're going to need it for every time that you log into the platform. Now I'm just going to call myself test student. My name will be test and my last name will be student. Uh, city, this is something to keep in mind, guys. The, the, only the larger metros are listed on the database. So if you are based outside of the city or put down your, your biggest, closest city that you are based. In. I know we've got uh, students from Swaziland and Lesotho and Botswana sometimes that uh, are based in the smaller regions or the smaller rural areas. That, Please just use the capital city as your uh, um, your city name. So I'm just going to, for the sake of this exercise, say that I am based in Maseru, Lesotho. Now, the next step is something to keep in mind. You might not find your country code here, guys. The email number or the cell phone number that we need to enter here is not crucial. At the end of the program, before certification, we will make sure that we have your correct email. Uh, and your, uh, your correct uh, cell phone numbers if, if required. But for the purpose of this program, you can literally put in any one year. You, there's no, any, you can put in any number as well. So if you, there's a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, uh, needs to have a zero in front, I think. Let's see, enter a valid phone number. If you can't, if it doesn't work with your uh, dialing code, you can change the dialing code and just use the South African one. It doesn't matter at this stage. You know? So it's not a, um, it's not a, it's not a requirement as long as it can allow you to move forward. So the email address you can't change the language. Please don't change that. And then you can click on the submit button, and this will bring you straight to your dashboard. <coughs> There's a welcome screen that you need to just close on the right hand side. Is a little X there, close that. And it's gonna ask you for a cohort. Now, again, this cohort code is very important that it's the code that was shared with you in your email that you received. Please do not use the code that I'm typing in here. This code is just for, for demo purposes. Make sure you use the correct code that you received in the uh, invitation email. Once you've put the code in, click on enroll and it'll bring you to your dashboard. That's what you will find. The next step is to create your venture. Now we are students, we do not have businesses at this stage, perhaps you are in the program to explore and understand how to uh, identify potential ventures, how to ideate, as we call it. So, but to do that, we need a test bench. We need something that we can practice. And that for that purpose, we have to create a venture on the platform. So you can click on the venture there, 
you do not have a company name perhaps at this point, but you can call it anything you like. You can call it um, Freddy's Venture. Yeah? Just call it that. You can call it your name, your venture. Okay. Give it a, you can use a cool name. You can use a company name. You can use any name that you would like. It's really irrelevant, but put a name in there. The industry. Now, if you are keen to understand a specific industry or follow a specific industry, or you are studying in a specific industry or field, you can find something that is as closely related to that field as possible. Alternatively, you can just click on others. Now, again, we don't have a description. We don't know for sure what this venture will be all about or how this idea is going to develop. Uh, so we might not have a description, but I know that I'm keen on starting a, um, a website or e-commerce. That's just something that I'm interested in, so I'll follow that interest. And, it, and I please advise every single one of you, follow an interest, something that you're keen to, to understand better or something that you're really interested in, because it helps you to do the program and complete the program better if it's exciting or it's interesting. If I'm going to put in here... Um, bread baking and I'm by in no means interested or understand what it fails to bake bread, it's going to not help me much. I need to follow something here or use a venture idea that I'm really keen on or interested in. So I'm just going to say e-commerce for the mat, for the timing. Yeah? Or, or you can say to be better defined. You know, if you're still not sure. Okay, But please do not uh, put in nothing. You, you have to put something in there, otherwise you will not be able to submit. Now, you, you do not have a website at this point in time. You do not need to enter anything there. It's an optional uh, column. Again, use the same city name that you used when you completed the enrollment. So I'm just going to put in there uh, Masero Lesutu again for the sake of this demonstration. There's a little tab there that you have to click for the letter of understanding. Just click on that. Uh, you're welcome to read through all of those terms, just that we won't share your information with anybody. It's not going to go public by any means. We follow the pop quite strictly. Uh, however, you do have to engage and you do need to share certain uh, details with us and with the group sometimes as well. All right, so that is it. You can upload a logo here if you'd like, or you can create a logo if you'd like. Really, guys, you can go ahead and be creative when it comes to this. So when you've done that, you can click on save. And now you've created your venture. In other words, you are now fully enrolled onto the program. You will have access to all of the content. You will have access to the calendar and the library and all of that. Now, some of you have got, and we really, we invite you to bring people on board, whether it's fellow students or external people from, uh, friends, family that you'd like to work with, but they mustn't come on board this program if they are not going to commit to it. If it's somebody that you're already working with or that you might have in mind that you want to start a venture with or you might pursue the uh, common idea, you're welcome to bring that person on board. And all you need to do to bring them on board is share with them the same enrollment details that you have. Let them complete that enrollment. They can follow, they have to follow the same steps and use the same code, code that you, you used to enroll. Once you've done that and they are enrolled, they must not create a venture. Please, big, big note. If you bring a, a partner or a co-founder or a co-member, as we call them, on board, you, they don't need, they don't create a venture. They just follow, they, they do the complete enrollment to the point of putting in the code, code. They close the welcome screen. And when they've done that, they must let you know, and then you can ask them. So when you go onto your venture on your home page, you can click and see, there's your venture. Freddy's, you see, I called mine Freddy's Venture. Now if I click on view more, I can add a person. Please, please, very important, never add anybody to your venture if that was not agreed. So if, because when you click on the add member, it's going to give you a list of students here that you can select. Now, if that student is listed there and you did not agree or you're not working together and you add them onto your venture, it's going to create a problem for them and for you going forward. Because then they will, you will need to exit them so that they can go and create their own venture again. It's just unnecessary and complicated. So please only add people that you are in agreement with that they will join your venture. Don't go out there and go and select a 
random people to, to add to your, to your venture, please. And the maximum people that can join a venture is three. In other words, you as the start or the head or the CEO or the founder, as you want to call yourself, and two more students or two more co-founders or two more members. Okay. And once you've done that, or even if before that, if it's just going to be you and this venture, you are now fully enrolled. That's it. No more to do. Now, when you access your dashboard, and guys, I, I encourage you to make sure to put that link in your shortcuts, favorites, shortcut on your dashboard, because you're going to be using it quite a lot. Okay. So clicking on that link, all you need to then do going forward is put in your email address and your password, and it will bring you straight to your dashboard as you see it in front of you. This dashboard will be there for you going forward. Now you see already. Uh, there are meeting schedules. We are now in this one. I see already today it says welcome session at 4 p.m. Five days. If I click on this, it will bring me. Okay, I don't want to do that. I'm already in the session. Let's just close it. Uh, sorry, my mistake. Shouldn't do that. Don't join a session where you're already in a session. Okay, so uh, here we go. So that'll bring give you the links that you can. Uh, Join classes, you'll see that the first week with one class is coming Monday at 4 p.m. to 5 p.m. And, and, and I've put in all of the links for the first three weeks as long as the first milestone. So milestone one will already be due, it'll be due two weeks, three weeks from now. So next week will be week one, the week after that will be week two and week three. And milestone one is due uh, when week three closes. So after the the concept class for week three, the milestone will open and it will overlap with the following week. Okay, so you'll be completing one milestone as the class progress going forward for the next uh, for the next week. Uh, when you're on your dashboard as well, you've got the weekly planner. This will give you access to all of your class content, all of the work plan content. And this is where we're going to do where where you will find all of your uh, workbooks, case studies, videos, all of that. So you'll, you'll see that there's a week zero here on entrepreneurial thinking. Week zero is completely self-work for you going forward for the rest of this week. And for next, you know, first class will be week one. Week one will start on Monday afternoon, the 31st. That's when we'll start with week one. However, from now up until week one starts itself, you can go into week zero once you're on the dashboard or on the platform. Go and watch the videos, follow the guidelines. There's a couple of exercises and some stories and so on just a little bit to ignite the entrepreneurial mindset okay it's not the, it's not compulsory work as part of the, the uh, program week zero is just uh, some entrepreneurial mindset uh, and insight development okay and that's self-work for yourself it, it will not form part of the program content we start next week monday with week one when you're on your platform you can just click on the workbook that you would like to open up the workbook will download on your device, as you can see. Um, you can download, you don't have to have, you, you do not need to be connected all the time to do the work. That is really the key. So that, that's important to remember. So when you're on the website or on the platform, just download the workbooks, and then you can open up that workbook uh, offline and work on it through it, read through it offline on your cell phone or on your laptop or whatever device that you use. And you'll, and you'll have access to it all the time. So you'll see, uh, if you look at that, the, it says 14 weeks, but this program will only run for 12. So we're going to be fast tracking some of the components. The 14 week program is the full entrepreneurship program. Uh, for the purposes of the Ignite Academic program, we are going to fast track some of the components and it'll, there'll be slight deviations on various concepts that we will share and work through. So that'll bring the program down to 12 weeks instead of 40. But the, the concepts are the same. You'll find that the, pro, the milestones are the same. The concepts that we'll cover through are, everything will remain the same. And some of them will just be a little bit more high level and a slightly more condensed version of the, uh, of the full uh, component. So this will give you some good reading material that you can go through for week one. It's all about the problem, that you, how to identify the problems that we want to solve, problems related relating into uh, business opportunities or business ideas, uh, understand the markets, 
uh, understand who our customers are, potentially where they are based, and so forth. So all of the workbooks uh, as will be on your platform. So after completing week three, we will start with the first milestone. Now the milestones, as I've mentioned before, is in the form of a presentation. Uh, it'll be, you'll be able to access it here already. Uh, the milestone one overlap with week five. You'll see that uh, it's supposed to be a week four, but it overlap with week five. For us to complete, you can click on there and you can download the milestone presentation. And this is the template that you will use every week for the work for that week. So every week there will be slides that you will need to complete. Uh, after the concept classes was is presented on a Monday, uh, we will share the recordings of each class the following day. Uh, Tuesdays, Wednesdays, Thursdays, there will be um, open hours and office hour coaching sessions that you will be able to access for better clarification and some Q&A if you require that. But this is the work slide, the work template that you will be working on. It's very basic. It's not complicated. Each week you will find that there are one or two slides that will form part of that week for the work that to be completed in that week. So you will find this and complete the slides and submit once once we reach week uh, the end of week uh, three for milestone one then we will upload the complete slide the complete presentation so you don't need to upload weekly you'll only be uploading um, basically uh, at the end of each milestone okay i think that is uh, it colella is there anything that you would like to add anything that i might have missed during uh, the course of my monologue. Hey, hi everyone. I think what's important is whenever you are finding challenges is to reach out. You can reach out to us via text, which is what you call a WhatsApp. And the platform that Charles is showing you right now, you can actually converse with us directly on that platform as well. There is a functionality where you can converse with us on the, on the platform when you have opened up your, 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 your profile on, on there. That's one. Second part is, uh, I've just, just touched on it, something that's called master classes that, <clears throat> We offer basically what master classes are there to do are there to enable you to see a bigger picture of what's available and the opportunities in business um, that you can tap into uh, for your own venture. These I typically host at least two a month. Some are recorded and some will be live. I think next week there'll be one uh, that is live, but I'll keep you guys posted. Uh, whenever there is a concept that has been explained during the week on these open hour sessions that I conduct, it's an opportunity for you to be asking me questions. I do not teach on those open hour sessions. It's me using the information that you give me to help you build your venture, build, as uh, Charles was mentioning, that you have to build a pitch deck. We actually do it practical during those sessions so that when you go out of the session, you know exactly what you, you need to be doing and how to go around doing that. That's all I can share with you guys this afternoon. And I have a bit of headache, unfortunately. And I think I um, will be out in two seconds. Thank you so much, Charles, for the opportunity. Goodbye, everyone. Thanks, Colella. Uh, Colella quickly mentioned the chat functionality. You'll see that there's a little chat icon right in the top right hand corner there. That chat functionality will give you access to the facilitator and ourselves. So if you want to ask a question there, you can send a message, so you can uh, send the message to the cohort, so you can announce it to everybody. You can ask a common message to the group that you're part of, or you can just ask a message to, uh, to any of us. So you can send a message to your fellow students, or you can send a message to me. So if you want to send a message to me, you can say, see if it picks, uh, there we go. You see, you want to send a message to Charles, you can click on the faculty code, find my name there, and you can send me a message. Whatever it is you want to ask. But uh, please remember, guys, we are not 24 hours on standby. Um, I will answer messages as and when I get to the point of opening up the dashboard. 
Uh, I do travel a lot. I'm on the road mostly during the day. So most of my interactions happen in the late afternoons and in the evenings where I will respond to WhatsApp messages, to messages on the platform. Now I've noticed there are a few questions in the chat. Um, somebody first asked, can I have the link? The link is in the email that you uh, might have received. That's the link. I will, uh, let's see if we can find a fresh link here. There we go. There's the link. Remember you have to sign up. You will not be able to uh, type in if you haven't signed up. So you will click on the sign up page. There's the site that I think call it. that's the register one. Copy, I'm putting it in the chat here. Uh, so that it's accessible to everybody. Um, give me a second. So if you haven't completed your enrollment or registered yet, please do so at the urgent notice. So where are we now? So we've got, yes, there is an app available. The app is called uh, Wadwani NEN. Unfortunately, it's only available for Android and iPhone at the moment, not for Howie. It's not in the Howie app store yet, but there is an app that you can download. Uh, you have to register online first. Then once you download the app, you can log in on the app with your login details. And you will find that all of the content is there. You'll be able to attend or download stuff on your phone. You'll download the workbooks. You can open it, but you will not be able to work or do any work on your phone. Just keep that in mind. You need access to a PC to be able to do that. However, the phone, allow, the app allows you access to all of the content. You can even log in on classes via the links there. You can download the workbooks. You can watch the videos, all of that via the link. So just check for, it's called the app. I'm typing it in here in the, in the chat. So the app name is the Wadwani NEM app. You'll find that. Uh, Okay, but it, just a reminder, it is only for uh, Android and iPhone at the moment. Um, so yeah, that's where we are at. So on, on your dashboard, you'll also find that there's a mentor section that is not available to you yet. That will only open up after milestone three. Uh, the calendar we've seen, that's where we've got the, the links to every week class will be there. The, uh, we'll also share the links to the coaching lab sessions via the WhatsApp group. So you'll see the reminders to the link to the WhatsApp groups as well via email and it will be on the group. So everybody will most surely, if you have completed enrollment, you will have access to all of the calendars and class links and so forth. The library consists of articles um, of interest and support to the program. So you'll be able to go and this is not compulsory reading by any means. Um, you'll just find that it does help you to understand some of the concepts much better uh, when, you, when we start each week. Uh, which, what have we got here? Yeah. Okay, somebody asked, uh, can Charles highlight the benefits of the program? Yes, the benefits of the program is it will install you with the skill of developing a business model from an idea. So uh, we've developed this program working with startups, with uh, uh, individuals who are at the pre-idea stage as well as the idea stage and from early startup stage. So it will help you to understand the tools and the concepts on how to go about to validate a business idea or a business opportunity, how to do the validation of that, how to understand the market, how to develop the, pro the uh, MVP, a minimum viable product or a for that idea, uh, you'll be able to look at the financial applications and understand that better. We develop a business model based on the value proposition. We take you through the full process of uh, a go-to-market strategy development and also how to go about to fund your venture or your idea and how to take that to market. So the advantages is basically the, a life skill, a skill set that you can go and apply doesn't matter what sector you're going to be involved in or what your business ideas could be in the future or currently are, it's not relevant. The, the, this program is designed to work as a formula and uh, we've, we've got the, the success rate from people who started ventures after completing this program is more than 80%. We've, we've followed through on 
uh, we've got a full department that works globally from the Wadwani Foundation called the Impact Team. And they, they keep in touch. We've got an alumni that they measure the success, the growth, how people develop these ideas, or when they start the business, firstly, how long does it take them to start the venture after completing the program? Uh, how quickly did they obtain their first customer? How did they expand into a market? How did they start when they employed their first personnel? So all of these growth stages, we keep fairly close track of. And we, because we develop our content consistently on global best practices around the world, and we want to make sure that if something works in a region like Africa that doesn't work in a region like Latin America, we, we you know, each region becomes much more focused. So our case studies for Africa, we're busy developing those and implementing those into the program so that all of the uh, content will be relevant to our markets, but also have a very good global perspective. So it will not limit you to one market. It'll give you the tools and the understanding on how to launch a business locally, but also if you would like to scale it globally, that would be fully uh, understood as well. So yeah, that's just some of the advantages. What you did. And I also laid out some of the advantages in the emails that you're sent out. So guys, you're welcome. Just go and read up on that. You'll find also the certification process that goes with that, mentorship, coaching, and there are various other uh, benefits to it as well. Okay. Um, somebody's asked who's got access to the milestone assignments. It will only be myself, Colella, and the facilitator, Vishal, because we will give you feedback on the platform on your submissions. So nothing there will be shared with anybody outside of uh, the three or four of us and you as the entrepreneur and your team. Okay, so none of that will be shared. Uh, the feedback will be shared with you. However, the progress of your attendance and participation and application of the program, that will be shared at each milestone with the institutions so that they can uh, understand who is keeping up. And, and it's not to, Penalize anybody. If, if you know this is a pilot program, it's a test bench for us to understand how this program works within the university environment, within with students, and uh, what are some of the obstacles and challenges that we face during the course of a program like this. What are the outcomes of this program? Participation, the feedback, and you'll find guys that at milestone three and at milestone four, there will be an opportunity for you to give uh, surveyed feedback on the program. Okay. So that's just a little bit insight on that front. What else have we got? Um, <clears throat> must we have gone through everything for lesson one before uh, Monday 31st? No, there's no lesson one, lesson two. What you need to do before Monday's class session in your own time, it's not compulsory. And it's just for you to go and week, read through week one, week zero, sorry, that is it. Not week one. Week one, we start with next week. From now until Monday's first class, week zero is for you to just go and explore. Okay. It's not a compulsory comp uh, part of the program week zero. We start next week with week one. And then the first concept class will be on Monday after 4 p.m. After that, then you will have the opportunity to go through, read the case studies, and uh, complete the work for, for week one starting next week. All right, so there's nothing compulsory, no lessons to complete this week, apart from in your own time, once you're on that platform, go and uh, explore week zero, okay? Uh, somebody said, I managed to create the venture, but I don't know how to log in back to the venture. You go follow the link that I've sent, that I've typed in there. Uh, the, the, if you are, have already registered, you can follow the homepage link, uh, let's see, I think it's called, if you've completed registration and you just want to log in again, you can just follow the same link or that link that says home. Okay. And then use the email and password that you used for registration and you'll be able to access the dashboard again. Will we get a certificate? You'll get a certificate of completion if you complete the program. However, those that are very committed and perhaps have, you know, exceeded or excelled, we will also submit you to our global jury for certification. 
Uh, then if you are certified by them, you'll get a certificate from a global jury validating your understanding of the concepts or uh, idea perhaps even that your idea has got, it's got a valid basis that might even have some market potential and it could also potentially open up some uh, funding for you. So there are two certifications uh, that will follow. If you complete the program up until milestone four and you do all of the work, you will get a completion or a attendance certificate. However, if you accelerate it, you will also potentially get global certification. And for those who get global certification, a whole new set of doors will open up. You might uh, stand a chance to be selected for a trip to the USA. We've got an annual trip. It's happening now, actually in October for this year. Um, I'm looking forward to perhaps even joining that trip. I don't know, but uh, we've got a trip that the best students from each region uh, will get selected and it's top three or five perhaps from each region goes to the USA. But apart from that, you'll also get the opportunity to join our coaching and uh, business development programs that are following this program. And that all of it will be at no cost to you, okay? So what else is there that we have to look at? uh somebody says i'm part of a business that's running already we want to expand raise money hire team establish departments such as designers sales marketing hr we need a we need a business manager is this team still relevant yes shortly yes we have had people that have completed this program that have been in business for 10 years and after week one they literally said you know what we've we've got the much clearer picture of where we are going with this business we now fully understand our market potential much better. We develop, and especially if you want to raise money. If you want to raise money, you need a solid business model. Uh, you can have the proof of your value proposition. You, all of this, this program will bring it all together for you once again. So yes, absolutely. It's not ideal, but it can, and it will certainly uh, be, you'll be able to benefit from it if you are already running the better business. I see I've been already added in a team. And I don't remember when I was asked to join the team, can a person remove himself from a group? Yes, you can remove yourself from a group. So if you're on that group or on that venture, just click, you'll click on the venture, you'll find that you, you see your name there. If you are part of a group, you'll find your name under the venture team. And there'll be a little button here or a little cross that you can click and you'll be able to remove yourself. But then you need to create your own venture after that process. Okay. Uh, somebody says, I've been added to someone's venture too. Exactly. So guys, do not add people to your venture that you do not know or have an agreement with to work together as a team. But if you've been added by mistake, you can unadd yourself. Okay. Are there any awards for those who complete? Yes, I've mentioned that you'll get global jury certification. Global jury certification is a process uh, that we've got a panel of entrepreneurs, investors, and experts from around the world that evaluate a outstanding presentation or, a, or an outstanding milestone for presentation. And we will share some of those with you as examples that you can go and look for. And what that global jury certificate allows you or opens up to you is potential for investment, you know, and uh, perhaps even mentorship coaching development with, with your business idea. If you're really keen to take it to market, that's entirely up to you. Uh, is it possible to change my email? Well, if one message my work email, go to junk mail. Mm, no, unfortunately not. You can not change the email. I think you can re-register using a different email and then uh, I can take you off on the one that you do not want to use. So my advice would be for you to re-register under a different Gmail account or another personal account following the same process. And then just let me know via email if you want to, which, which account you would like to get deleted from the database. Uh, somebody's asked if it's fine if you're just alone in your venture. Yes, it's perfectly fine. Uh, when is the deadline to add people to your venture? The deadline is before Monday. And everybody needs to be, if by Monday evening uh, at midnight, after the first class, I will close all applications, registrations. You will not be able to go to enroll. So please guys, make sure you complete your enrollment, your uh, 
you can always add people later on. That's something to remember. There's no real deadline to add people to your venture. You can continue to add people uh, afterwards, but you need to be enrolled before Monday or by latest Monday evening. Okay. The people to add to our venture, do they have to be students? No, they do not have to be students. Uh, they can be anybody, friend, a colleague, family, anybody that you want to join you on this journey. Okay. They do not have to be students at your university. Any other questions, guys? You can type it now in the chat. We are running it's quarter to five. Is there anything else that I can, uh, uh, if you'd like to unmute yourself um, and ask you, you can also do that. Just let me know, put up your hand if you'd like me to unmute you. So somebody saying here yeah, that uh, some Kele, the meetings are not appearing in your dashboard. Yes, they will still appear. If they're not appearing yet, they will certainly appear by tomorrow or by latest Friday. Okay, they will. The people in, in the we invite, do they get the certificates too? They will get the, the same certificate that you will have. Yes, they will also get certificates. Uh, if they are a student, they will get a certificate of completion. Uh, if they are not a student, they won't get a certificate of completion. If they are part of your, if, you, if your venture gets selected, or get certified by the global jury, then they will most certainly be part of that certification process. Okay. Uh, is the must to add a venture? Yes, it is a must to add venture. You cannot complete the program if you do not create a, we call it a practice venture, guys. It's only a platform, dashboard, or a vehicle for you to apply all of the concepts that we're going to share with you over the course of the next 12 weeks. You have to, it's a practical program, this. You apply every week after the, each concept, you will go and do the work on that concept. You will apply it on that practice venture of yours and you will be building a, a demo model of a practice or of a business. Okay. So yes, it's very crucial that you create a venture. Somebody saying still getting trouble creating a venture, grace out each time I select my nearest city. Uh, type, type in the, the name, of, the, of your country and see what names it's, uh, which, which cities are highlighted. Make sure you use um, the biggest city, the capital city. Okay. It'll only pick up major metros. It will not pick up the name. And use the same city that you used when you uh, complete your application. If you've been able to uh, complete the application and select the city there, you will most certainly be able to find the same city when you create your venture. Um, I'm not sure if I heard correctly, I apologize, but did I hear something about USA? Yes, our organization is based, our head offices are in the USA. However, our regional offices are in India. Our Africa region falls under the India office and uh, our local office, we don't have a local physical office it's in Africa. We all work remotely, but we've got, uh, Operations in Africa in, I believe, seven countries currently. Okay, but our head offices are based in the USA. You say YouTube vid, can I put up my YouTube link? Uh, you can put your YouTube link in as a website link if you'd like in your on your dashboard, if you want to. It's not it's not it's not compulsory. Okay. Uh, Patricia is asking how do faculty register? You fac faculty register via the faculty cohort. There's a specific code that I created for UKZ and faculty, Patricia. Um, uh, you, you've gone through the training and ran two cohorts. You ran the foundational program, uh, not the Ignite program. It's slightly different, Patricia, but if you want to complete faculty training for this program, you have to go through the program as a student. But please reach out to me directly and we can discuss it further. Um, the platform does not allow for websites ending with .co.za. Yes, it does. I can prove that. Um, you see, you can add your YouTube video here, Freddie. Uh, um, somebody asked if they can add a YouTube link. Yes, you can. Um, let me show you how to go about that. You can, there's a little basic information about your venture there. Just click on that pencil right there on top. You'll find that there's the website link. Um, I'm just going to put in any website that I can think of for the moment. Let's say, um, www.takealot.com. 
la morcilla de gazeta. That's it. You can put any into the proper website protocols. Okay, I don't take up. I think you need to do H. What I suggest you do is go to your website and then copy and paste that link in there. Uh, let's see if we can find. I'm just going to put in. Uh, this is one of my links. Don't worry about it. I'm just going to use it as a thing. Just copy and paste it in. Okay. It asks for the HTTP is all the protocols. So make sure you add all of the protocols. Best thing to do would be just to copy that link and uh, save it. Okay. Uh, any other questions, guys? Are we good? This recording will be uploaded onto YouTube with, by tonight or latest tomorrow morning. Um, so make sure you follow our YouTube channel. We don't gain anything by it. There's no monetization happening on YouTube. We just we use YouTube quite extensively. All our master classes are recorded and shared via YouTube. And uh, so please follow the YouTube channel, get notifications when stuff happens there. After each master, uh, master class, we do share the master classes. Uh, on the YouTube channel, um, the enrollment processes are there. There's a lot of how to guides, how to upload and submit the milestone is there. Um, you'll find there's a lot of helpful videos and some master classes on our YouTube channel. So make sure you follow the YouTube channel, uh, subscribe to it, uh, and then uh, let me just put the link in here as well. <coughs> there we go. Um, how about internet speeds requirement for internet speed? No, if you if you can attend this session, your internet speed is perfectly fine. Um, what else is there? I saw that there are mentors. How do we get in contact with them? You do not get in contact with the mentors. The mentors will contact you after milestone three. We will allocate you to a mentorship to a mentorship group only only if and when required. So the men the mentoring will happen uh, after milestone three. Uh, what else have we got? Um, I joined code with someone else's email by mistake. How do I sign out of this code? Out of the program code? Uh, ooh, that's a tough one. Why did you sign up with somebody else's by mistake? My suggestion would be for you um, sign up again with your own email or the, the correct email and just let me know with, what is the incorrect email and we can delete that one. Okay. That's it from my side, guys. Let me just uh, stop sharing here. That's it from me. Thank you all for attending this welcome session. If you've got any queries, please chat, share your information. At this point in time, we'll take a lot of questions via the WhatsApp groups. Uh, but going forward, when we start with week one, we, the WhatsApp group will be focused purely on program uh, we will send reminders on the WhatsApp group and we will send links to the WhatsApp group. They will, we do not want it to become a chat uh, function. Otherwise, people will mute and miss out on a lot of important communication. There. That's it from my side. Thank you all and uh, good luck. We're looking forward to working with you all going forward and uh, make sure you enroll and we'll see you next week, Monday afternoon, 4 p.m. on the 31st for our first class. Have a great week and uh, best of luck. Thank you all.